guys! Today I want to show you a Christmas blanket that you can make with the linen stitch or otherwise known as the moss stitch. So I really wanted to make something that was wearable. I have been scouring YouTube for videos and I've been on, you know, Yarnspirations and a few of the different websites looking for something to make that I can wear. But there, nothing is clicking for me. I keep seeing these, um, these granny square cardigans, but the more I look at them, the more I don't like. Because when they do that little turnaround model <laughs> like that, I see see the back of it point out it doesn't lay nice and smooth and the last thing I want to do is put a whole lot of work into something and then hate the way it fits you know and so the more I study those videos the more I just don't like them and I cannot find anything else wearable to make so at this point in time what I'm going to do is make Lana a special Christmas blanket let me show you what I have set up here all right so you can see I have all my goodies out now I was looking for the proper crochet hooks here. What I want to use for Lana are these big twist twinkles. Um, I don't even know if they still carry this. I've had this for a few years. Lana wanted a winter hat, and so these were the two that I used. And they've just been sitting in my stash for a long time now. And I thought, you know what? I'm struggling to find something else that I want to work on. So I'm like, why not make something special for her? The girl loves blankets. She takes after her mom. This takes a five millimeter hook. It's a, it's a medium four worsted weight here. This is 100% uh, oh, not 100%. It's acrylic polyester blend. And if you look up close, you could see that there's a whole lot of sparkles in these, which, you know, it adds a nice little punch to it, doesn't it? Um, but this takes a size five. I've got a five, five and a half, and a 5.75 here. If you've been crocheting for a while, it's just what feels good in your hand and how it comes out. So I need to do a little sample, see how tight the stitches are. That's going to help me determine what, which crochet hook I want to use. It doesn't matter to me that they said five because it really comes down to just how you crochet sometimes. Lana does not know I am making this for her. So that's going to be kind of fun. Make some noise here, too, while I clean up. I'm going to make it right in front of her. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get away with it and keep it a secret, to be honest, because she's probably going to call me out when she sees the red and green colors. And so, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. This is my go-to book for crochet stitches. I tend to be a crocheter. I like to work on my own. I know how to read patterns, and I just hate following them. So I like to come in here and find the stitch that I am looking for, and then I can just kind of run with it until I'm happy. Like, what's really nice about these patterns here, for example, is they tell you how many multiples to make, and then two would be on the end for your turn which is perfect because you can make it any size that you want. So let me find the linen stitch. You can see I have all my other ones that I, all the other ones I really like tagged here. But what I want to do is go, instead of looking at every page, I want to go right to the index. And hopefully it's called the same thing here in this book because I have found that sometimes things are called different things. Let's see, linen, linen, linen. And it's not called the linen stitch in here. Oh, no, hold on. Let me Google other names. Other names for the linen stitch. How to crochet the moss stitch. Maybe it's the moss stitch. Ooh, ooh. I just looked in my book. It's not listed under the moss stitch either. <laughs> so far, it's got two names. <laughs> Let's see what else. Knit, crochet, crochet, moss and linen, moss and linen, moss and linen. Or the granite, or the granite or woven stitch. <laughs> How many names? Four names now for that stitch. That book doesn't, keep, doesn't even cover it yet. I got one more. It's such an easy stitch. I just wanted to show it to you guys. Let me try one more. This is my other book I've used so much. Look at this. Now, now you know I've been crocheting almost 30 years. I've used it so much. The binding is worn away, and I had to put it in um, 
Got my special three hole punch and I slipped it in here instead. Well, if that doesn't look like Christmas, I don't know what does. So anyway, um, what I've done so far, just a quick update, is I have done my foundation row. I've done a single, I've done one row of single crochets. And this row here is when I began doing the single crochet chain one, single crochet chain one. I ended up going with the five millimeter crochet hook. It is working perfectly with this yarn. I'm real pleased with it. As you can tell, I'm here at Joann's. I am not shopping for a new project today, though. I am looking for two more rolls of yarn for the blanket I'm making for Lana for Christmas. And I'm hoping they might. It's October. They probably have Christmas yarn on, I would assume. So let's see what I can find. So what I bought was the Big Twist Twinkle. And they have the red here, which is awesome. So I'm going to grab one of these. But they don't have the green. There is no green here. So I'm probably going to have to look at Amazon to see where I can find it. But at least I found the red. All right, guys. Guess what? I'm seeing the checkered flag. Or the red and white flag. Go wings. Or, or you know, the blue and gold flag. Go Preds. <laughs> anyway, I am almost done with Lana's blanket here. Um, I have one night left ahead of me to finish this. The body is complete. All I have to do is the edging. I have to do it at nighttime because I don't want Lana to see what I'm working on. So this is my midnight hours blanket. So Lana just finished eating dinner. And she's in her room watching a movie, so I'm going to take advantage of maybe a half hour here where I can get started on the edging. I don't want to turn any sound on in the background so I can hear if she moves around. This is going to be stressful. I'm not going to do this for very long. <laughs> I am not doing a slip stitch around the edging. I am doing just a single crochet. Sounds quiet. It sounds quiet in there. I'm going to put this away. Next time you see me, you're going to get the reveal. So what I did was a single crochet around the edge here, not a slip stitch. And I did one row all the way around and then I did a second row all the way around. I think it gives a nice clean edge, a nice clean border on it. Uh, you might notice a slight change in color here because I ran out of the red here. This is actually uh, Karen uh, Simply Soft and it's red with a sparkle. So it still has a sparkle, it still matches what's going on here, but it's a slightly lighter shade of red. So I decided I am not going to weave in the ends here because I just hate doing that. I'm just going to trim them so they're more of an equal length here. What it looks like on this side, it looks like it's coming out of one side instead of the other side. And I know for your perfectionists out there that you would absolutely hate that, but you know, to each his own, we all have a different way of doing things. This is good. Lana will like this. I think she's going to be thrilled with this. I'm gonna go and hide it in the closet here so she doesn't find it. She's gonna get this for Christmas, which is gonna be more about New Year's because she's visiting family out of state this year for the holidays. So, but I'm happy that I have it all done. I'm happy that I got to share it with you guys. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these here also. Have a good day.